Hey guys, uh, this is about as loud as it'll get. There's a massive battle here. This is the opening of Singularity, Ashes of the Singularity, actually. See a bunch of dreadnoughts here, a bunch of cruisers, a bunch of small units. This is the scale the game is going to be in. So if you really enjoy, uh, you know, games like Supreme Commander, then this game is, is probably going to be for you if this looks cool. So this is a promotional video for uh, Stardock, and this is Angry Joe and Dell, and we're going to show off this game to you and yeah. see if it is something that you might be interested in playing. Yeah. It's $44 on Steam right now. Um, and if you're a fan, and I've actually already played uh, a bunch of it, um, so it's it's pretty good, uh, in my opinion. It's really, really fucking hard. It's super frustrating, but it's the good kind of hard where it's like, oh, damn it. And I've played seven times, no, eight times against normal AI, and me and Delith are getting our asses killed. Um, and, and we're, you know, all right players. Um, but what it's doing to us is it's making us want to play it even more and more and more. Okay, so we're going to try to jump into a private match here. Invite Vidal. Okay, I'm sick and tired of losing. This is like our eighth time. The AI is so strong, so aggressive. And that's a good thing. I'm so tired of games that have pushover AI. The AI here is not a pushover. Normal AI, it's crazy. It acts like a human being. So I couldn't even imagine what challenging, tough, and painful, and insane is. These AIs have to be cheating, honestly. I'm so scared to even click any of these at this point uh, after playing this game. So, normal AI, here we go. Angry Joe, Delrith, veterans of RTSs, and we'll turn see what it goes. We're gonna actually turn off victory points because we keep getting on. When when victory points are on, the AI is so aggressive. They send waves after waves after you. They're so uh, m mad that you take any resource points and they attack your resource points. It's it's really cool. It's fascinating. It's fun. It is intense. But holy shit, we want to win a game for you. So for the video, <laughs> this is like the eighth recording. So I'm going to turn off victory points. And what that's going to do is what we found is the AI gets a little more turtly. Um, it's like nearly impossible to destroy their base. <laughs> so we're going to go in there with a, a lot of dreadnoughts. And excuse me if I'm coughing and sound a little sick. I've been under the weather and uh, just playing games. And, and hopefully I'll get better soon. And uh, let's do this. I swear to God, this is the last time, and if we lose this, guys, uh, at the end of the video, our outro is just going to be us losing and us crying, okay? So let's see what we can pull off here. We're going to do a highlights video. We're going to go through this with you, and we're going to talk about strategy and shit that we've encountered through our previous seven times, because I may or may not show you scenes of those. Okay, so obviously you start here in a pretty standard RTS fashion. It doesn't really break the mold or, or uh, provide anything completely outside of the box. You want to right away get your workers here called engineers to start uh, harvesting uh, your resources and start to build more workers. Uh, there are two resources in the game, metal and radioactives and it's a streaming economy which means uh, basically you can only store a certain amount uh, and basically you always want to be building, 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 building so that you can not waste resources because at the end of the game you're going to see how many resources you generated and spent and how many were wasted. Okay, second engineer coming out now, throw that up, throw this going. It's got a little uh, uh, visual representation of your overall military and economic strength. Though, as me and Dell have found, it kind of seems a little yeah. wonky. <laughs> I mean, AI really is out wonky. front. There, there was a time where I had like 70 bombers and a huge army, and it was like, you're the worst. You're the Get worst. out of here. You got nothing. Yeah. So I'm going to go, and right away, I'm going to build two factories here. It It's really important to act fast at least in the victory point match. At the victory point match at the top of your screen you're gonna see something called Terrinium and there's two Terrinium points on the map but because we turn that off this is gonna be a little bit easier and honestly we didn't see all the all the crazy waves coming at us that we usually see. Um, and honestly that's a more fun mode but I really want to show you guys us winning. <laughs> Gotta look good for the stream. Yeah. 
or well, video in this case. All right, so I'm gonna build a bunch of brutes, but as we found, Dell, what have you found about the brutes and the archers? Well, first uh, off, archers. what about the Hermes? What is the Hermes? The scout, the radar oh, scout. It's good for scouting where the hell like your shit is at the beginning of the map, but yeah. other than that, it just explodes. It's really good at exploding. Now, notice right before Dell tells you about the, the 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 different unit types is you can actually take the engineers and have them help the factories who are also building. So you're sort of building double time here, and that that'll jump you. That's why Dell jumped all the way up there because he's probably using his engineers to crank out his military a lot faster than normal right Del? yeah okay tons of engineers so the strategy we were using at first is spamming brutes uh and then we noticed that brutes take a long time to kill i love the particle effects in this game it's really really awesome but these little green lasers are weak as hell what really kills the enemy are these archers over here with their missiles, these these things right here. Ba bam! Look, ba bam! So that things will go a lot quicker if you're spamming archers. You should use brutes as more uh, damage soak. Yeah, they're a good front line. Uh, they do no damage though. Yeah. So I'm gonna take this group over here. Once you've def once you've sort of cleared the area, you have to capture that, and you'll notice these little animations, these little sperm things. Uh, helping to capture the area and for your factories you want to pick the waypoints upon which they'll spawn and I could take my guys and start building some radioactive so you are capturing this area this green line will fill and we'll be good to go I feel pretty confident that we're going to win this one since the AI seems to be a little less aggressive on these. They, they concentrate yes, a little more on turtling. But guys, man, you really should see <laughs> the AI in victory point mode with the Turinium. It's crazy. Yeah, it is. It's, it's if, pretty If I didn't have you know su such a deadline, I, I mean, I got to take off tomorrow, then I, we would be playing till wee hours of the morning. That's how addictive it is to try to beat this damn AI on normal. And then once I beat it on normal, I kind of want to go one level above. I can't tell if they're cheating yet, guys. So don't don't ask me, if, is the AI cheating in order to get that? I don't know. But I feel like I'm a smart enough guy, good enough at strategy, that even if the AI cheats, a lot of games do that, a lot of strategy games anyway, that I can overcome it. So I got a lot of brutes now. I'm gonna reset the waypoints and start spamming archers now that I've got a nice wave of brutes to to get in front of. That's what I like about this game is the massive scale. Uh, there's tons and tons of units on the screen, and that's pretty sweet. Okay, uh, it's time to build our quantum relay. The quantum relay is going to give us our third resource type, which is right here in the top. Uh, right hand corner called Quanta and you use that to increase your logistics right now I can only have 100 uh, logistic unit points but I could press that and now I get 200 and my Quanta dropped by 50 but you also use Quanta to upgrade stuff like how much metal you can store how much radioactive you can store uh, upgrading your units health the its radar range their weapon damage and all that stuff really helps out Yes, it does. Okay, so building the quanta thing right there. We could use another engineer or two. So every one of these resource points, as you see there, if we open up the strategic map, is kind of connected via these these nodes. Um, and you want to make sure that they're they're all interconnected here. And then uh, if you capture the main point, then you can getting well first this is going to automatically generate resources for you but if you go ahead and actually put the metal extractors or the radioactive extractors then it's going to come out faster i'm going to tell one of these guys to go and do that and these guys to go and do that <clears throat> so at least on this map we found that this is a good choke point here in order to start building up defenses 
and we'll, we'll spread out a little bit more just so that we could capture more metal and radioactive points but they won't be under our turret protection which we're fixing to build fuck yeah turrets Now that if you're wondering that if that's the AI, that's not actually the AI. Those were rogue units that sort of hover around the resources and protect them, sort of like NPCs. Is that your fighter? No. Okay. Knowing that, we better start building our armories to give us our cruisers, so we can start building some anti-air. Because we've red seems to be focusing on on air and I've got nothing that shoots air right now so this guy's got free shots at us go to the next resource point I think they can handle that alright Apollos are gonna be our anti-air and it's always a good idea any type of building that you build to build two of them that creates units so you could double your uh, resource generation or your unit production Here's a small army. This is definitely the AI. Made short work of them, though. <clears throat> I love the anti-airs. I love these little red lasers. Yeah, the they, lasers they, on them. And, and it looks so cool when they start firing their flak cannons and their, their anti-air. It's, it's so sick looking. It's awesome. So sick! Build some Zeus's frontline units. Ah, shit, another enemy force, red. And this is the AI. See, they do not mess around. They have a, a force with medics, combined arms. Their units have shields. Our units do not. Of course, we have a lot more armor than them. Ah! They're doing a two pronged attack. Both red and green are attacking me at the same time. Do you oh, see shit. this shit? This is fucking crazy, man. And these these little drones right here are the bane of my existence. I fucking hate them. And that's what I'm gonna bring these guys in here for. These Artemises. So we dealt with this shit before. We are not gonna deal with this shit again. Boom! Look at all that. Target those drones. Look at that flak. Bop, 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 bop. Fuck yeah, they did not expect me to have all that flak. Bum, 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 bum. God, the particle effects in this game are so fucking cool. And guys, this game actually utilizes DirectX 12, but you have to have Windows 10 in order to use it. I'm actually on Windows 8.1, so I'm not utilizing the full beauty of the game, unfortunately. They are not making this easy. Look at this, guys. Another red force. We're gonna pull back. I'm off to go find more fucking radioactives because I have no idea where they are. It's a nice little force. So you chose to be the uh, the the second uh, faction in the game, huh? Yeah. Oh, I wanted shit. to see what they played like. Uh, the one thing I noticed with them is their units appear to do everything. They literally have units that say they're good at everything. Like for example, their uh, their fighter craft. It's just called the Dominator, and it just says it's good at both. I'm uh, facing a main force right now. Here we go. You get into these big battles, and this is not going to look good for me. I'm going to back off just slightly. I can't handle this. I need my defenses to kick in. I might need some help. Holy shit. As soon as I put up that sensor array, we got to see into the fog of war. The red area actually represents enemy units. So it's kind of cool that you can peek into the fog of war. Oh, shit. Dal has showed up with a few bombers. They killed all my bombers. This is not good. I don't know why they're concentrating on me. They they always attack me. They're on, they're on me right now. They're blowing up my defenses. I just took out a, another wave. Your base defenses look cool. 
Yeah, the, the annihilators look great. Yeah, those are awesome. They have so many artillery ships just peppering my shit. What is this pulsating thing? Oh, that's the shield restorer. It heals everything in an area. Well, that's fucking sweet. Yeah, whereas the drones heal like one thing at a time, this thing AoE heals your entire base, it looks like. Shit, man. I Go faster, fuck, dude! Come on, army! I am struggling doing? over here. Did that dude kill all my engineers? I'm gonna get them? all available engineers. You could select this button to select all your idle engineers. I'm gonna have them all work on this dreadnought. We barely survived that one. All they wanted were these two resource points here and here. I'll let them have that for right now. What we really should have done is expanded out to here and grab this stuff. I'll let Dell have that. I'll grab this and this and make the fight here. Fuck the AI! Oh my god, it's so powerful! What the hell? I have a dreadnought already. I'm, I'm building it. I'm getting one dreadnought. My dreadnought's coming up. I'm just hanging on for dear life until we can launch this fucking thing. Alright, here we go. Let's rebuild these smarty systems. Dreadnought deployed. Let's get this sensor back. Capture this point. Take the point from red as well. Say fuck yo shit, this is ours. Can you capture the green point right above you? Uh yeah. Take that 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 army that you got. Yeah. <clears throat> we're gonna take this and we're gonna kick them the hell out of our territory. And reestablish the battle lines. I see the red coming. I see ya. Okay. Now the dreadnought will level up and they'll get certain upgrades. This has a self-sealing hole. It slowly makes repairs to the the hole, which we're going to do, <clears throat> automatically heal our dreadnought. Third dreadnought complete. That's good. Building fourth and fifth. Fuck! Drone incursion! <laughs> Retreat your units! The drones are too powerful! I need it! <laughs> this game's going to kill me! I needed Apollos, the one thing, my one weakness, and the AI exploited it. It's amazing. They just obliterated my engineers and all my defenses. Look at all these tiny little drones. Both red and green said, fuck your shit. This is ours. I am so impressed with the AI in this game, guys. I'm going to build nothing but fucking Artemis's or Apollos now. Get fucking wrecked! I love the way they target. I got two more on either way. Come on. Bring that shit. Bring it! <clears throat> Both my Hyperions have leveled up. Healing drones. Self replenishing swarm of, of drones. Dude, he's swarms. spamming drone swarms. It's like complete bullshit. Yeah. There's no way they can afford that. It's it's fucking ridiculous. No, he's got plenty of they got plenty of quanta. They're 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 building up their quanta. But I got him. I got him. Just give me a, a Cronus. Give me a Cronus dreadnought and, and I'll be good. We got to catch him off guard. You've got to make moves when they're making moves on me. Push for that green point. That green point to the uh, to the right of your base. I'm building smaller units right now. All my dudes got wiped out by a drone swarm except for my dreadnoughts. I built I built a ton point. of Apollos. I've got like ten Apollos now and Yeah, and, I'm building tons of anti air right now. And I, I'm not having to worry about them anymore. Are you able to make a push? Yeah, I'm going to right now. I have five, six dreadnoughts. Man, I feel like they don't fuck with you as much as they fuck with I'm, you. I'm getting attacked a shitload. 
I just had Are you getting three... attacked from both sides? Yeah. Okay. I just had I keep... three dreadnoughts when they first attacked me because I rushed them. Ah, these guys are good. I don't like how guys don't automatically attack when they're in an army. You have to tell them to attack move or they just kind of stand there and die. The army system, in my opinion, needs a little bit of work. No, See, I'm it's looking not at the Hyperion work. army. The Dreadnought leads an army because if you look at the screen, this Hyperion army has two Apollos. As soon as they leave, they this fucking attack. This Hyperion people. army has Apollo and Zeus. Yeah, I know, I know. They're just sending waves at us, you know? Dreadnought! Dreadnought on Dreadnought Battle! You got a ton of dreadnoughts, man. You need to make a push for that. I did, and the moment I left, they attacked my base and killed all my defenses. Okay, I guess we need to coordinate our push. I'm gonna push at the same time you push go. Alright, here we go. Coming into their base, let's go. Fuck it. Oh, holy shit. Both of these guys have leveled They up. just dropped a shitload of drones on us again. Fuck you and your drone. Unli they gotta be cheating. They have unlimited fucking quanta. That's insane. Because it goes up in cost every time they use it. Their drone swarm has to be at like 1200 or something by now. I'm not sure how many times they've used it. I've had oh it dropped on me God. five times. Ugh. Ah, oh, they've gotten all my fucking car retreat. Sons of bitches. I'm using the instant repair ability to soak all this damage. All instant my repair. forces are down. Fuck. Except the dreadnoughts. Well, I need anti air. Alright, cool. I'll go over there and help those buddies. Three. Group three, get those dreadnoughts out of there. Alright, uh, it's not gonna make it. I'm gonna lose a Cronus. That's group three, could get there. 4,000. Can't you go any faster, Apollos? Ah, uh, ah, god damn it. Fuck all these drones. There we go. Put some fire in them. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! Fuck you! That's right, bitches. What? What? Yeah, we saved him. Awesome. At one thousand seven hundred fifteen hit points. He dropped a seventh drone swarm on me. And it's killed three of my dreadnoughts now because he's just got unlimited drone power. Four dreadnoughts down. Up oh, another drone swarm. Five dreadnoughts down. That's great. Is this what's left of you, two dreadnoughts? Yeah, I had seven dreadnoughts. Seven uh, dreadnoughts and all these drones? Keeps dropping drones on them over and over and over and over <clears throat> and over and over. Well, so did you bring anti airs? Yes, tons, and they just got wiped out, like, okay. almost instantly. Okay. By drones. He just threw so many drones at me, I couldn't Oh, get shit, I'm under attack. More dreadnoughts. Gosh, they reestablished their battle lines. Sons of bitches. <clears throat> Level four. Oh, and there's three dreadnoughts in my base. I'm going down! Drone swarm over here too. Holy fuck. That okay, the drone swarm is definitely broken. There's no way you hit that many drone swarms. Yeah, I think they just have unlimited fucking quantum. Like or they I don't, don't have the scaling. Yeah. No, no, That's their quanta is they're, they're probably just generating a fuck ton of quanta, but their the scaling doesn't go up for the computer and that needs to be fixed immediately. Yeah, it's 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 insane. Okay, My so I've got uh, four, five, six 
Six Dreadnoughts. Okay, so it looks like we're going to lose this, guys. I'm going to go in with six Dreadnoughts. And what the fuck is that? Avenge me, Joe! It's like some sort of fairy cloud. Fuck you. Quantum Jammer, fuck you. Quantum Jammer. Fuck this. Fuck the recharger. Fuck this other recharger. These Kronoses, dude, just blow everything up in the base in one shot. That's so awesome. He keeps popping these these purple things. I don't know. Look what at my base is. right now. I can't. Look how many uh, I can't. Oh, man. Okay, let me look. Uh, shit, I just missed it, but I saw a ton of fucking. There were like several hundred swarms of drones in my base. It was great. Okay, so we're going to go in with four, five, six, six dreadnoughts to try to take out Red and. In honor of Dell, avenge me. I will avenge you. Okay, and so if you made a path down there, was that their main base that you were attacking on Green? Here comes uh, the dreadnought. Yeah, I didn't get. I didn't even get to their main okay, base. I got a they level three, drones, okay. a level four, a level four, a level three. Let's go. Let's go. Healing drones. We're gonna need healing drones. I think I just lost one. They dropped something on us. I'm down to five. I'm six. Yeah! Fuck you. Oh, I booted me. That all you got? My so life. you fucked Green up because he has not been able to recover. I got to his base and he killed my army and like... I had, okay, so I pushed through. He wasn't even using units to kill me. He just dropped drone swarm after drone swarm onto my uh, dreadnoughts, and all seven of them just disintegrated. And they had like 20 anti air. <clears throat> I lost all my Apollos, and none of my dreadnoughts have any anti air. Uh, and that's going to be a problem because now they they have uh, bombers hitting me. Um, I'm not sure I'll be able to make it to. Oh my god, they have nothing but. Overmines. The drones. Uh, Overmines and drone hives. Mm. It looked cool as fuck, though. When all those drones are on my dreadnoughts. Wow, they're using so many abilities. I've not seen these things before. Look at all these drones. I think the, the, the issue is that the drones have way too much HP. It's not the drones that have HP. It's just, we already pinpointed the issue. Damn, my guys are holding out pretty well. I think we might be able to... Ah! Oh, there goes one Cronus. Second Cronus is going down soon. But our Hyperions are hanging in there. Hyperion's my favorite. We blew him up. The second Cronus is going down soon. 2,000 hit points left. He is smoking. He is on fire. Flames everywhere. Here comes yet another army. Yet more drones. But see, here's the thing, and you know this, that they have what's called a drone hive. So there are units that actually produces drones. Oh yeah, no, I was actually watching drone okay. swarms spawn okay. on me over and over. Because I was That's killing their drone hives immediately, and uh, they were just dropping the special ability on me like every 20 seconds or something. Play on, play on impossible, within one second they just start dropping drones on you. Probably. At your base, I would love just, to like, see you. Just like you can't even hell. move. Look at all these drones shooting me. That is insane. Oh my god. Ah. 
Oh, all my drones have died. But I'm not going out without an insta repair. Ah, no, I didn't hit it in time. Was that their main base, though? I think that that a little further up would have been their main base. Yeah, I didn't get to their main base either with seven dreadnoughts. I just got annihilated by drones. Wow. Holy shit. Um. Okay, I am going to hit the surrender button. Defeat. Let's look at this. Um. Alright, military spending. Me and Delrith dwarfed by Wade and Baker. Uh. Friendly military lost. Enemy military destroyed. We we were just fucking obliterating their military, but it didn't matter because their resources were just through the roof. They were just throwing shit at us. I wasn't it felt like I was never dying from their units. It just felt like I was dying from their abilities over and over again during fights. So if you look here at the Quanta invested, uh me and Delrith combined only had 1,500 Quanta invested, while the enemy had far, far more. Look at that. Could they, could they not launch that many drones with that? Not with the increasing multiplier on things. Like, when I was trying to do insurgencies, it was going up by, like, 100 every time I used it. And so there was a point where it was, like, 750, and I had, like, 30 Quanta generators, and it still wasn't enough to be able to spam it like they were. I only built like one or two Quanta generators the whole time. Yeah, I, I went in one match we played, I sat and built like as many as I could feel just to see how fast it went up, and it still wasn't enough to spam things. Okay guys, so that was Ashes of the Singularity, and uh, we we now tried nine, nine times, nine or ten times to try to beat the normal yeah. AI, and we're getting our asses kicked on on VP holding and non-VP holding. And we're pretty good at these RTSs, so honestly, in my opinion, I think they need to rebalance some of the stuff. Uh, drone incursions uh, by the, uh, what is the faction? Shit, the uh, alien faction, basically. The aliens, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't think the AI is obeying the same rules that the player has to obey, that every time you use one of these offensive abilities, the price is going up in quantum. Like incursions and stuff, we yeah. were going up in cost. And I think that uh, the humans need a little bit more effective anti-air. The dreadnoughts need a tiny bit of anti-air, or you need to make a fourth dreadnought that have complete anti-air abilities. Basically, an anti-air dreadnought. So within, so when they pop those, uh, you know, uh, drone incursions. Uh, your, your dreadnought just laughs and shrugs it off. And oh my god, it would look so fucking cool. They uh, do. The anti-air units in this game are the coolest fucking thing. Like, yeah, they, they look so amazing. Cool. They're, it's like those old World War II videos you see with all the tracers going in the air at night. Mm -hmm. Those things have like 12 guns on them that just go fucking nuts all over the place. And they're so cool. So I had a ton of fun with Ashes of Singularity, even though I feel like the AI needs some tweaks to it. It definitely needs a patch. What do you think, Duff? I think AI, yeah, yeah. There's definitely is something going on with it. Um, I think at at the least they're not fucking pushovers. What's happening right now is it's yeah. way too hard. And I'm thinking that it has to do with anti-air and drone incursions. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, the game is beautiful though, and the combat looks amazing. Oh, yeah. It's just overwhelmingly difficult right now, and on normal, and there's four difficulties ahead of this or whatever. Yeah. So I can't even begin to imagine how impossible it is at like higher difficulties to oh, do yeah, like, these sorts of things. Oh yeah, there's four levels above this one, but uh, the single player campaign is a lot easier than this. Uh, the AI sort of follows some scripts, and and it does get inventive from time to time. So uh, if you uh, don't, if you feel too don't feel too intimidated and then obviously playing versus player straight up you're probably uh, not gonna run into this because the players have to uh, pay an increasing cost in quanta every time they're using those drone incursions so you're probably not gonna run into that uh, but yeah so that is ashes of the singularity guys thank you very much uh, for watching the video and we will see you on the next angry joe show
Stop!